If you have hundreds and thousands of products in your WooCommerce store, editing or updating product information can be a real pain. Although the default bulk editing settings in WooCommerce does help you to a certain level, it is short of better filters and lots of other features. Hence, to overcome these shortcomings, you can make use of a more advanced bulk editing plugin like Elix Bulk Edit Products, Prices and Attributes for WooCommerce plugin. In this video, we'll discuss how to use Elix WooCommerce Bulk Edit plugin, and look at all the features it has to offer. You can access the plugin settings by clicking on the Bulk Edit Products option listed in WooCommerce settings. The very first step is to filter the desired products that need editing in bulk. The plugin offers some useful filters that you can make use of. You can filter products using product title, that starts with the specific text, ends with specific text, or contains a certain part of the text in the title. You could also make use of regular expression pattern matching option. For this option, you need to follow a syntax for entering the pattern. For example, if you need to search for all the products that have numbers in their product title, enter the number pattern in the form of 0 to 9 inside square brackets. An additional option is to use flags. You can choose appropriate flags for processing the regular expressions. Read our article for more regular expression patterns. The link for the article is given in the video description. You can also use product types to filter only simple products, parent variable products, or variations of the variable products. The next filter allows you to filter products based on product categories. You can select one or more product categories from your WooCommerce store for filtering. If you have a long list of subcategories, you can select the parent category and simply tick the include subcategories checkbox. You can also use the regular prices of the products for filtering. Select any of the price comparison condition and enter the required price values. In addition to this, you can use any of your custom global product attributes that you have created in your WooCommerce settings. The product attributes can be used in two ways, with or operation and with an operation. Once you select an attribute, the plugin provides deeper filtering in the form of attribute values. If you wish to filter products of a specific attribute, select the desired values. We recently included a new feature called Exclusions. This feature is used to exclude some products that will be filtered using the above filters. Basically, these products will be excluded from the bulk edit operation. You can exclude products using product IDs and product categories. For multiple products, enter multiple product IDs separated by commas. For demonstration purpose, let us filter t-shirt products, and exclude one t-shirt product with product ID 430. Once you have set up your filter settings, click preview filtered settings to proceed further. The next screen previews all the filtered products to you. If you are not happy with the filtered products, click back to go back and configure the filters again. You can notice that the excluded product with product ID 430 is not listed in the preview stage. The preview stage will preview all the products filtered using filters in the first stage. Click continue to proceed. Next, you are presented with a list of product properties, that you can use to bulk edit or update the filtered products. The first option is to update the product title. You can choose to set a new product title for all the filtered products, append or prepend some text to the existing product title, replace a part of the text with the custom text, or use regular expressions for which you can enter the desired pattern inside square brackets and enter the replacement value in text format. 
You can also select one of the flags for processing regular expressions. In the same way, you can configure product SKU for the filtered products as well. The product visibility settings allow you to show the products on both the shop page and search results, only in shop page, only in search results or you can hide the filtered products from the store completely. You can also remove existing shipping class, or apply your predefined shipping class for all your filtered products. The next set of settings is related to product prices. You can customize the regular price of the filtered products, by increasing the existing regular price in percentage or decreasing the same in percentage value. You can also increase or decrease the regular price in amount value. The plugin also allows you to choose the desired rounding method for decimal calculations. You could also set a flat regular price straight away for all the filtered products. In a similar fashion, you can configure sale prices as well. An additional feature here is that when you want to decrease the sale price, you can use the existing regular price of the filtered products. For example, if you select decrease by percentage option, enter the value as 10, and tick the given checkbox, the new sale price will be the price value obtained by decreasing 10% from the regular price of the products. An important point to remember here is that the sale price and regular price settings will not be applied to parent variation product. They are only applied to variations of the variable products and other types of products. Next up, is the stock properties of the products. If you have not enabled stock management for your filtered products, you can enable it very easily in this way. The plugin lets you update the stocks of your filtered products in simple steps. Just select the increase option and enter the desired stock value. Easy, isn't it? In the same way, you can decrease or replace the existing value as well. The next setting is to configure the back orders of your filtered products. You can choose to not allow back orders, allow and notify the customer, or allow back orders. The stock status setting allows you to show your filtered products in stock, out of stock, or show them as they are on back order. In the next section, you can bulk update product length, width, height, and weight of the filtered products. You can increase the value of the existing dimension, decrease value from it, or replace the value entirely. The next setting is related to product attributes. With this feature, you can add, remove, or overwrite a global attribute to your filtered products. But remember, you need to first add one or more global attributes in your WooCommerce attribute settings and only then will you be able to add the same attributes to all the products in bulk. For example, if you want to add the size attribute to your filtered products, you can tick the size attribute checkbox, and select existing attribute values from the drop-down. You can also add new attribute values, each in a new line. In addition to this, you can use these attributes for variations of the variable products. In the sense, the attributes values will not create variations on their own, rather they will be made available for creating variations. This setting is similar to the used for variation checkbox in WooCommerce product attribute settings. You would need to manually create desired variations for each product in their WooCommerce product variation settings only. A new feature has been added to the plugin to bulk update product categories. With this feature, you can add an existing product category, or remove an existing category from the filtered products. You can also overwrite categories of the filtered products by selecting desired ones in this list. For example, based on our demonstration, we have filtered all products of t-shirt. As you can see its parent category is clothing. Let us remove the clothing category for the filtered products. These settings mean that size attribute values large and x large will be added, 
and the product category clothing will be removed from the filtered t-shirt products. Once all settings are configured, click continue. The next step is to schedule the bulk edit operation. These settings allow you to apply the bulk update operation at a scheduled date or time. You can also choose to revert back the applied settings at a scheduled time. This is helpful when you want the desired bulk update settings to be applied only for a specific period. In these settings, you can choose to bulk update products right away and save it as a job for future use. When you choose to save the update as a job, you can apply the same settings in the future again. If you want to enable the revert last update setting, tick the respective checkbox. For a better understanding of each job, you can choose to give desired names for the job, and choose to create a log file of the file. This XML log file will contain information of all the product fields updated, and can be downloaded after the job is created. After you have configured the settings, click on the finish button. Here's how the filtered products are updated with new attribute values and product category. The simple product will show the configured attributes in the product information section. And for variable products, the attributes will be shown in a drop down list in this way. You can also notice that the product has only t-shirts product category. In this way, you can bulk edit product properties in your WooCommerce store. You should note that the plugin is capable of handling more than 10,000 products at a time. But that's not it. In addition to product properties, you can bulk edit product meta fields as well. You can find this feature in the settings tab. This feature will be pretty useful to bulk update meta fields of third-party plugins like Elex WooCommerce Catalog Mode Plugin, Elex DHL Shipping Plugin, Elex Easy Post Shipping Plugin, Elex Australia Post Shipping Plugin, and so on. For example, to update a meta field called Tariff Code for Elex Australia Post Shipping Plugin, you need to enter the meta key of the equivalent meta field in this text field. You can enter multiple meta keys by separating them with commas. Once you save this setting, this field will appear at the end in the bulk edit operation settings. For a detailed understanding of how to do this, you can check our YouTube channel for the video tutorial on how to bulk edit product meta fields. In the jobs dashboard, you can manage all your saved jobs. You can view the job name, and the product fields which are updated in bulk. If you schedule the bulk update operation, you can see the scheduled time. You can also perform some quick operations like editing the job, copying, running a quick bulk update, reverting back the applied update, deleting or cancelling the job, or download the log file. If you are not happy with the update, you can revert back the last update. This is only possible if you have enabled the revert last update checkbox, in the scheduling settings. To revert back the last update, go to the filter settings and click on undo last update button located on the top right corner of the screen. Next, you'll be shown the last updated settings. If you have updated more than one product settings, tick the desired checkbox you want to revert back, and click continue to proceed further. The last update will be reverted back to its initial state. We have created separate video tutorials for bulk editing product properties like attributes, meta fields, regular prices, and so on. These videos will give you a deeper understanding of how to configure these properties. You can check out our YouTube channel for these video tutorials. The link for the Elex Bulk Edit Plugins playlist is given in the video description. If you have not purchased our Elex Bulk Edit Products, Prices and Attributes plugin for WooCommerce, get it today at elextensions.com.
If you are one of our thousands of satisfied customers, get the updated plugin, and start bulk editing product and its various properties. Go follow us on our social media channels, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative videos related to WordPress and WooCommerce.